greatest. Move this camera a bit, okay? Sure thing. Okay, I'm gonna move the ladder in a way. Now I've already trimmed off the top. What end do you want? I can throw it on myself. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh no, just reach. No, no, don't do that. Just lift it up. Oh, just lift it up? Yes. There we go. Oh, I thought you wanted to climb up a bit. No. You thought wrong. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Don't go up there. Cause it to sink. Oh. Climb off here. We need to make some more of those plates, anyways. I don't have any more left, do I? We'll cut those pieces and we'll put her up.
these a little larger, remember? Mm -hmm. Before I heat that side up, I better do this side here. humid out here. My skin's leaking. Why? Why must my skin leak? I think it's to cool you down. I'd like to say it's helping, but it's not. Probably is, but I don't feel like it. Is. No. Beauty. Oh, I smell that trailer burning again. <laughs> cool. I know it's not good that it's burning, but it does smell good. At least it's on my skin. That's true. Oh, like that. Like that, yeah. Be careful. Like a piece of cake. That's Very nice. Slick or what? Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I have to make another one. I'm gonna go a little wider this time with those brackets. little piece here so it wouldn't fall off on me. Righty.
get a nail before I get too crazy on here. I'm going to test these holes too. I don't want to get up there and find out they don't fit. Slide anymore my way at all? Probably not, right? That's it. Can you pass me one of those, babe? That's not going nowhere. Pass me one of these. Pass me one of these nails. So now these plates, folks, these will keep the beam from lifting up. And these ones under here will keep the beam from sliding in or trying to tilt a little bit. These here, see I'm not attaching these beams on the other side to anything at all. So the only thing that's holding these beams on is these from keeping it lifting up or going sideways. And these also from sliding or going up. So that's why I'm doing both. Some say overkill, yep, probably is. But I'm 53 years old and I don't wanna to have to do this when I'm 73. Another hot day, another warm evening. Yes, it is. Whew. Now, I want to move 
it's on her elbow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to move this. Scaffold. I need my garland for this to help me here. Now, what's the measurement of the next one? We have to mill some. Ah, it's gonna have to be three foot four. I don't think we have any. I might have to go to our wood lot and get some that's eight foot four inches long. That's it for now. Whew. You see him sweating a little. So that's three done. We only have two more to go on this one wall and this wall's done. And there's one, two, three, four on the back wall, five on the other wall, and then there's gonna be three on the end wall. Won't be too long, we'll have all these up, folks. And then we'll start to put in our center beams, the post, the three posts, the top beam, and then lay in our two by six floor joists on top. They gotta be 16 feet long. And then once they're laid up top, we're gonna put a come along, we're gonna pull these walls in so they're, they're level, or they're straight. We're gonna put a string line up there and pull them in to line up. Alrighty. Alright, well that is the three of them up there now. Two more on that wall and we're done. Uh, yeah, again, we had some stuff to do this morning. So that's why we only have three. And I sure hope you understood what I mean. These front plates here, only to keep the beam from coming up, but to keep from going this way, that's why these ones are under here. I'm hoping they'll keep them from going this way because I'm gonna be pulling on that beam when I start pulling in the wall. And then the floor joists will be set up there. There's nothing holding the beam on the far side. There may not be until the 2x6 gets nailed on the outside of that. Then eventually there will be something there. That's what I'm up to. 
Uh, what else did we do today? Well, this morning I took the starter off that uh, Yamaha 700 Grizzly, I believe it is. Yeah, I think it's Yamaha 700 Grizzly. I took the starter off of it. It wasn't too bad to do. Pulled the seat off, pulled the one side cover off, and I was able to reach right in there and two bolts undoes the starter and then you have to undo one nut to get the cable off of the starter as well and then it just comes right out so i passed that on to the owners and they are supposed to get either a starter for it or get one rebuilt so that side cover comes off of course you take seat off first and you can reach right in here it's right in at the back of this here you reach down through here and it's pretty easy lots of room in there to work on it not too bad what else did I do? Hey, I put some blades on that mower that Heather used to use. I think I will use it instead of my John Deere. So I put a new set of blades on it. So I will use that old one now, right there. And Heather can use the newer one if she wants to. Although she's kind of liking her old one, she said. She doesn't care much for the hydrostatic transmission on this one. She likes the gears in that one with the clutch. So she wants to continue using this one, but it's up to her, whatever she wishes. I do have to fix this mower deck though. I think it catches the ground on this side. So I think I might have to adjust it and I'm going to take a look at, see why it is doing that. This one hangs a little higher. That one sits a lower. I'm gonna check the tire pressure on that. Then I check the rod adjustment to see if that mower deck's not sagging a little bit. So that's what we're up to today, folks. Not a very long video, not like yesterday's. Um, sorry if it's a little short. I have a fella coming over today, tomorrow, I mean. I have a fella coming over to pick up his snowmobile parts. And then after that, Heather and I are probably going to try to tackle the grass here because it is starting to get long and her tomatoes are starting to do pretty amazing. Our onions are getting huge. So uh, everything's doing great around here, folks. We've been eating off our lettuce for quite a while now. In here, it really needs to have the grass cut in here. It's starting to get pretty long. But anyway, that's what we've been up to folks. So uh, quick little video for you, nothing special. I did get confirmation though from Starlink. So I had to put the rest of the money on that Starlink. So they say it's ready to be shipped. So hopefully it don't take too long. So once you get the Starlink satellite here, hopefully, we can upload things really fast. I hope so. So no more day and a half per video. Hopefully like, uh, you know, they, they guaranteed a minimum of five megabits or 50, 50, minimum of 50 megabits, whatever that is. You can let me know if that's fast or not. Minimum of 50 up to, I think 250 or 500. I can't remember now, something like that. It's a lot faster than ours anyways. So that'll be good. And uh, from what I gather, it's not much difference in payments per month either compared to our phone. Of course, we have a few small potato bugs. These three potato rows did good out of our seed potato, but we had some yellow potatoes we bought in a, just a 20 pound bag to eat. And uh, that's what they did. They're, they didn't grow at all, they're just sparse. So we're going to keep our seed potatoes. Actually, we're probably not going to because there's potato bugs there and I don't know if they go into the seed potato or in the ground. Lettuce, we've been eating off that like crazy. Been eating off our lettuce, we've been eating off of our onions, we've been eating our potatoes, we've been digging some out. Uh, we've been eating some of our carrots, some of our peas. Uh, we've been doing good this year already with that. So, hey, you can see how that's looking over there too. You see that top plate, how that's looking? Hey, not too bad, I think. Check that out. Once that's done, once there's a four foot wall on top of that all the way around and the roof trusses are on, I mean the roof rafters are on it, they're gonna run a piece out over top the sawmill too, so we'll put a roof over there as well.